I am Judy Shaw on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Thanks for joining us here for another segment of Movers, Shakers, Icebreakers. And today we have James Ruth. James is Major League Soccer Senior Director of Properties and Events, and also Alex Betancourt, one of the best FIFA players in the world. Wow, wonderful. Glad to have you both here. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> so James, let's start with you. Earlier this year, Major League Soccer announced the creation of EMLS. Tell us about that. Uh, that was built on a project between us and EA Sports. It's been a partner of ours for a long time. And about two years ago, they approached us and said, listen, we're rewriting the script for competitive gaming in FIFA. They outlined the plan, and we said, listen, we're all in. We want to build this plan alongside you guys. And that was you know, the genesis of EMLS. All right, Alex, we got to talk about you. <laughs> First question, how many hours a day do you play FIFA? I got to know. Well, it's kind of like... Everyone I, wants to know. I feel like it's actual sports. You know how they go to, like, training, like, one or two hours yeah. a day. It's kind of like that. Like, okay. in the beginning, it's when it's, like, how you expect, you know, like, 12, 13 hours a day. Yeah. But once you get, you know, you learn and you get adapted to how the game's going to work, that's whenever it's, like, more relaxed. So how serious do you take the training? Are you just playing games or are you practicing certain elements of the game while you're training? Yeah, exactly. Like okay. Certain elements, like... Um, I'll play like in under very high pressure situations like where I can't lose, you know, stuff like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gotcha. you're 19. Now you, um, you were in college, now you're taking a gap year. Did you ever think that playing FIFA would lead to a profession? Well, if you would have asked me this like five years ago, I would have been like, no, no. no way. But now you can see like it's possible. It's, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, James, eSports has become a huge business, yep. absolutely, but it is about much more than just the gaming itself. Do you care to talk about some of that stuff? Yeah, uh, it's a big component for us in terms of how our fans engage with the league. So it's not just about eSports, it's not just about the competitions themselves, it's about opportunities to create new funnels for new fans and serving our existing fans, which we know love gaming, gaming's a big part of their fandom, uh, and so anything we can do in this space helps us grow the league uh, in itself. Alex, there's a big tournament coming up in London. Tell us about that one. <laughs> well, that's the grand final. It's uh -huh. 32 players, 16 on each console, and we're playing for a grand prize of 250000 mm -hmm. So it's kind of like golf, you know, if you play slow, where there's bigger cash prizes as well. Well, just as big, I'd say. And, right. yeah, it's a the big deal, the big okay. one. Okay, but what he didn't mention is that he is the only American that is playing in this tournament. So yeah. you are the only American finalist. Yeah. Amazing. USA. Yeah. USA. Exactly. So we're rooting for you here, obviously. <laughs> Especially being from the New York Stock Exchange. You can't get more American than that, right? Yeah. So I want to know about the players. How do you go about finding these players to compete in EMLS? So there's been a couple routes that clubs have gone through. Uh, one is to just go and select players uh, outright, scout them. Alex was scouted by Sporting Kansas City. We've had other clubs that have gone out and done open tournaments to pretty much say, hey, we're looking for the best player in Portland or the best player in New York. Uh, and we've gotten a lot of great players from that as well. And that's what's really exciting about FIFA eSports is we've got great players all across the country. They're coming from all different uh, shapes and, and directions and all that sort of stuff. So it's fun to see these new players get a new platform through EMLS. So we're excited to continue to do that going forward. Okay, so there's a big pot, $250,000. If you win, what are you doing with it? I keep getting this ass, but I have absolutely no idea. I mean, no idea. I haven't you know, taken you know, a couple days. You could invest it. <laughs> just, just saying. Yeah, there you go. Just saying. That's that's right. Right. So, James, before we go, we want to know yeah. what's next. What does the future hold for this area? Yeah, a couple elements. One, we're going to have more teams participating next year, so we're really excited about that. The league continues to grow. Uh, you're going to see more programming. So we have EMLS Cup was our feature program for this year. Uh, you're also going to see EMLS programming at all of our traditional MLS big events. So we've got All-Star next Wednesday. There's going to be an uh, EMLS All-Star Challenge leading into the game. So it's a really cool opportunity for us to blend the worlds of kind of digital soccer and physical soccer and really do as much crossover as possible, which we're really excited about. Wow. Okay, super well. exciting, super genius idea by, by the league and the oh, yes. community to combine these two and create something Such a big, big so industry. Yeah. But, okay, before we sign off, good luck. We'll be rooting for you. We want to hear the good news. <laughs>